Uh, I guess I'll just start off. Who impressed you the most during spring ball? Uh, out of my group, um, obviously, Miles Murphy, uh, Justin Masco, uh, KJ Henry, uh, Kevin Swint was another guy that we moved in that position, and uh, he, he did a great job. Man, I'm, in, I'm excited to see uh, Kevin's progression moving forward. And how about the, the new guys? Who impressed you most out of the group? Uh, Denhoff, uh, as, as a young man that that's, uh, we thought would be a developmental guy, but he came in and did some good things. And looking forward to see his progression uh, starting fall camp. Is KJ healthy? Yes. Yeah, he's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, it's, I was excited when I heard he was coming back. Uh, obviously, before he was uh, out, he had a great year, uh, a proven leader. Tough guy. Uh, everyone loves Justin Foster. Uh, he's a guy that I can trust, and uh, he's already taking the leadership role to get the young guys and spending time with them, working on different things that they need to get ready for. Um, and just you know, his ability, man, to play against the run, uh, strong at point of attack, just a physical player, man. So I'm excited to have him back. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I saw X the other day, and I was so excited to see him and to see how his body has transformed. I just had to go hug him. Like, man, this is awesome. Uh, he's had a great summer. Uh, he's working his tail off. Uh, he's kind of been under the weed, and, and that's what I like, you know. And, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see the focus that we need, and uh, I'm excited to see X get out there and play. Uh, it, it, you know, X, Xavier has always been a special player, and um, you know, just just allow him to do what he do, man, and, and he's going to be great. Um, and I'm excited, like I said, I'm excited to see him play. There's no issues or anything like that, man. He's been focused, dialed in, focused on where he needs to be. And uh, when we can get that version of Xavier Thomas, man, it's going to be awesome. Right. Oh, I mean, his, you know, Justin Mask was one of my favorites. You know, he's a, he's a tough, physical kid, uh, did a great job last year, you know, actually started a lot of games. And, uh, you know, now it's just different progressions that we got to get to, but um, he's done that, no, no off the field issues or anything like that. Um, he's just been dialed in, trying to continue to focus in on our efforts and our, our techniques and fundamentals and our, our discipline, all those things. But I see Justin Maskell, man, just really taking off, having an awesome year, great year, and uh, on the little things, doing the little things right. And uh, I'm excited to see his, his progression as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Again, like if I ask a question about Justin, what is his strong suit? Is it being on that edge? Yeah. Is it being set the edge? Yep, and, and, and that's what he he's he's really good at setting the edge. He's a physical player. He's a uh, I don't want to category and put him in uh, he's a, just a run defender. Uh, he can rush the pass as well. That's what we gotta get better in the in the pass rush with him. But physicality, man, you know, just coming out of his hips on contact, I mean that's that's what you want. He does it better than anyone. And uh, just need to get more consistent. And uh, I'm, again, I'm excited to see him. What's the biggest fundamental that you teach these guys that you think is the, the, the one key factor that can be successful? Just we got to be physical at point of attack. You know, good hands, good hand placement. All right. Uh, uh, when you come out of your hips, man, just be explosive. You know, don't catch. Make sure I got my eyes in the right spot. So we talk about hands, eyes, and feet. Uh, we did a lot of that this uh, this off season, making sure our guys got the eyes in the right spot our hand placement in the right spot. And, you know, not crossing over, just keeping a good base. Uh, and, and, and that's what we focused in on this spring. That's going to be the focus going into the fall. And uh, our guys are bought into it. They've seen it on tape. Now it's just a matter of going out and, and getting it done. I know you guys are busy getting ready for camp and the season coming up. But yeah. 
Have you taken a second just to think about how special this line could be this season? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we hear it often uh, that we got a, a great group. You know, Coach Sweeney said we got seven starters back on D-line. Um, and so, to me, that's just the focus on, okay, we – there's a high expectation at that, at that, at that group, and we got to live up to that expectation. Uh, you can't try to go out and do something that you're not comfortable in doing. So we gotta, we gotta focus in on the little things and just be who we are. Oh uh, no question. Right, right. Right, no question. He's on, he's one -on -one. Yeah, yeah. You know, we we have to do. Coach Bates and I got to do a get, good job of making sure our guy buy into what what we want to get done. Uh, we do have a luxury of uh, some guys that played a lot of football, and now it's just a matter of let's uh, let's utilize the depth that we have and, and and get guys to play fast, play free, don't think, and go out and execute and, and be productive. Zaire Patterson. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm excited about Zaire. Um, athletic, DN, explosive. Um, like you say, hadn't been here long. And uh, so I look forward to seeing uh, just getting him out on the field, being able to touch him and uh, take him through different techniques and fundamentals and things like that. But I'm, I'm excited about the upside of Zaire Patterson. Has Brian uh, showed any like, improvement in his leadership skills? He's kind of going to be that guy on the defensive line. Brian Brzee. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brian, Brian is uh, definitely a leader of our defense, and uh, guys respond well to his leadership. We got a bunch of leaders on our defense, on our defensive line, and uh, our job as coaches is try to empower those guys to, to utilize their strengths, and that's one of his strengths. Let's check back on to that. What about – you got different personalities. You got KJ, who's yeah. a very outgoing guy. Yeah. Be out there. You got XT, who sit off to the side, just quietly do his thing and right. Justin quietly do his thing and lead by example. Right. How do you, how do you juggle those guys and you get what you want out of those guys, get them to push the right way? Right. Well, well, it, it goes back to relationships. You got to get to know your guys. Right. right? You got to know, you know, what button to push. And, and there's a respect factor that's there as well. You know, they respect me as a coach. I respect them as players. And, and how you communicate with these guys. And uh, I don't mind a Justin Maskell being quiet, but I know the button to push to get him to play the way he needs to play. A Miles Murphy. I knew recruited Miles. He was a quiet guy. But, man, when you get between that line and, and he plays, and there's a button to push on Miles as well. And, and that's his coaches. That's, what, that's our job, to get to know – how to get our guys to play at a high level. KJ Heron, very outspoken. Uh, Justin Foster, quiet guy, but uh, he's a leader. And, and I, I love them both. There's a, there's a happy medium in both of them. And I, I, like, I like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. How does Miles take that next step? How does Miles take the next step? Um, so we don't want to have a um, – you know, there's a lot of things that happened during, during last year. He's a, he was a freshman last year. He's no longer a freshman. He played a lot of football. Um, you know, Miles got to get better at certain things, you know, the pass rush, uh, you know, the run game, and he's able to do that. Uh, he looks great. I saw him the other day, man. He's in great shape. And I expect Miles Murphy to just take off and, and be the Miles Murphy that we expect him to be. Let me ask you, how far into the season do you think we start getting the power range? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a good question. Uh, they got to get permission from those guys first to be able to do that. Have they come up with any names yet? Have they been talking in the, the film room or anything? Uh, I haven't heard anything yet, man. Uh, we'll see. To be continued. Go back to when you, when you came up from the staff. Uh, I think you came on right, right at the time that, that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, you had uh, Oh, you're talking about Dodd. Yeah, Dodd. Yeah, I, I got here in 15. I got here in 15. Yeah. Yeah. So, talk about, you know, a guy like that, he's totally not looked at in high school. Yeah. You guys developed him and he became that guy. Right. Who's that guy now? Who's Dodd in your state? In your state? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Masco could very well be the Dodd. Uh, although, uh, you know, 
you know, Masco has all the ability, man. You know, he could, he could be that dog guy. Um, and I expect Masco, you know, I, I try not to compare guys. Um, I didn't coach Dodd, but uh, Masco has the ability. He can rush the pass, like I said. Senior year, she took a leap. Yes. Came on, yeah. Got a yeah. Steps, yeah. It's all came together. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and you're right. And it, it very well could be uh, Justin Masker. Uh, and I expect I, I expect Masker to take the next step. You know, I expect him to be um, that guy that you can count on every down. He doesn't have to come off the field on third down. He can be that every down guy. Yeah. Oh, he had a he had an awesome year. I, I do expect that from him. Yeah. This is a developmental game. Yes. Yeah. That's right. 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 Yeah. Say that all the time loosely, but it's just like you said, you have to know more players. Yeah. You have to be on a personal level to mm -hmm. understand them and to be able to turn that key on and right. go. Right. How do you motivate them outside of that? Like, you know, you go to like a game and go, look, hey man, remember Kevin Dodd? Show him film with Kevin Dodd. Right. Like, hey, you see what this guy did? That could be you. I mean, yeah, and I, I think that's what we've done in the, in, the, in the past is to show our guys who's done it before. Right. And so, like, look, if you continue to work, or you can be a Kevin Dodd, you can be a Cleveland Farrell, you can be whoever. You just got to put the work in and understanding that that's, that's